Hey, we're in, uh, we're in Hammond, Indiana. I'm here with uh, Marcus Washington after a hell of a fight tonight against uh, the, the, the crowd favorite, the younger guy fighting nearby, uh, you know, in Chicago and whatnot. Uh, you came up a little short, man. Um, hell of a fight, though. I mean, it knocked down in the first. What were you thinking at that moment? Um, Getting caught with the left hook. It was, yeah, it was kind of left hook on my way out. And I felt like I caught his foot, so mm -hmm. it's a right. I can't make no excuses for it. But, you know, I got back up and just got right back to it. I wasn't hurt or anything. Didn't hurt me or nothing like that. I was cool. Now, had you been inactive before this fight? Or? Yes, I was inactive. I have been fought in two years. So that's what I'm getting at, like two, a two-year break. And to come in fighting, in, like I said, in front of this guy's hometown, Everything he did was, you know, levels above what it actually was and whatnot. The height differential and everything. So, um, how you get through that, man? How you put on the fight that you put on? Um, you know, I'm, I'm used to that. That's, that's kind of my MO. I go into other people's city and I put in that work. You know what I mean? I had a two-year layoff. I had a layoff last year. And I just kind of so, you know, we tough fighters. Okay. So I just jump back in. Looks like you were backing up a little bit early on, trying to adjust to, you know, his height and reach advantages and whatnot. Do you think maybe that kind of uh, contributed to the, the narrow points win and you getting started late? Maybe a little bit that I got started late. The knockdown was the only difference. Basically. Yeah, the knockdown, you know, other than that, I felt like I won the first round. Okay. Yeah, I felt like I won the first round. And then I got caught in the second round. Um, fifth and sixth round, definitely big rounds for you. Um, you know, kind of what was the, um, where were you at, you know, putting putting the, uh, the motivation together to make that happen? My coach was on my ass. I heard that early. My coach was on my ass, and then he started telling me, throw the overhead. He ain't ready for the overhead. So I started kind of throwing and looping, and, you know, my coaches, they see what I do. So when I started throwing it like that, I was finding a home for it on his chin and his eyes. All right, um, well, coming off of that fight, man, I mean, um, what's next for you? I mean, you know, definitely don't... Yeah, I'm just looking to get back in the car. We're doing everything good. I'm just looking to get back in the ring. Yeah, um, man, he kind of threw me off a little bit. Well, anyway, man, congratulations, man. Like I said, it's unfortunate somebody had to lose that one, but a hell of a night. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. All right, peace.